autistic. I was diagnosed with autism in the fall of 1990 after several years of exhibiting traits that are common to, with the disorder, such as hand flapping, toe walking, running out of rooms without supervision, poor interaction, and no ability to create words. After the diagnosis, I was enrolled in the Southeastern Cooperative Educational Program's Autistic Children's Program, where I got treatment. Over a two-year period, my autistic traits abated, and I became a regular girl. During this time, I learned how to create words, words, with, right with my right hand, I was ambidextrous for a while, establish social and communication skills, not to leave the room but with supervision, and not to toe walk or hand flap. After two years in CSEP, I left the program and went back to regular school. For the remainder of my elementary school years, I was put in a self-contained special education class with little mainstreaming in the regular classroom. By the time I reached the sixth grade, I was placed in a regular classroom full-time with one period of resource each day. This went on until my sophomore year in high school when block scheduling began. From sophomore to senior year, I had resource every other day for 94 minutes instead of the usual 50 minutes on a daily basis. Academics are very important to one's success in life. When it came to both scheduling, I would get average to above average grades. I know this changed when block scheduling was implemented my sophomore year in high school. With block scheduling, my grades improved and in my junior year, I made straight A's twice. Despite my autism, I was involved in several extracurricular activities throughout my schooling. I was in the fifth grade course in elementary school, art club and academic challenge bowl in middle school, Spanish club, senior class executive council, key club, art honor society, operation smile, bible club, and young life in high school, and newspaper staff all throughout school. I also did volunteer work in high school as a photographer for Camp Gonna Wanna Go Again, an autistic children's camp in Hampton Roads. My senior year in high school, I was awarded the Silver Star Award and Shining Star Award for volunteering 60 hours with the camp. Most children with autism don't have a chance at going to college. I was one of the few lucky ones to accomplish th this mission. In 2002, I graduated with honors from First Colonial High School with a 3.28 grade point average. That fall, I started my first semester at Old Dominion University as an English major with a journalism emphasis. I was at ODU for three and a half years. At ODU, I was given the Outstanding Writer of the Year Award for my tireless pursuit for, for truth, accuracy, and responsible journalism. I later transferred to Virginia Wesleyan College to complete my undergraduate studies. I graduated from Virginia Wesleyan in May 2007 with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Interdivisional Studies. While at Virginia Wesleyan, I was on both the Dean's and Honorable Mention lists and uh, won first place from the Virginia Press Association for Picture Story or Essay. I started attending Regent University in the fall of 2007 where I'm currently working on my Master's degree in Journalism. Ever since I was enrolled in the Journalism program, I have learned a lot about the field. Not only am I experienced in writing for print, but I also gained experience in web design and producing and reporting for broadcast. I have made all A's in my graduate work so far. My current goals are to keep up with the work that I am doing as well as taking my novel writing course this summer. Before my life runs out, I plan on using my abilities to write for print and online media, be a web designer for Google, or follow my dream wherever it may lead me.